Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been urged to rethink their Hollywood approach, as an insider says they've built a house with no foundation. After stepping down as full-time royals back in March 2020, deals with entertainment giants came flooding in for the Sussex royals. But in July, their Spotify deal came to an end after just one podcast series and a festive episode. Harry and Meghan now have just one of their original deals left, the £80 million Netflix contract. But an insider said the Duke and Duchess must rethink how they approach Hollywood. The attention, commotion, and hubbub was wrapped up in the fact that Harry is a royal, and people threw money at them with hopes and dreams that it would translate into success, an Hollywood insider told People. Don't miss. Made in Chelsea star Millie McIntosh claims Meghan Markle ghosted her but I think it's been a rude awakening for everyone, it's like they built a house with no foundation. The royal element, and the in some ways the drama around them, inflated the price, deals and expectations. Another insider said Meghan signing with agency William Morris Endeavour was really smart, because they can put her in touch with filmmakers and creative people and producers and people who know how to make a TV show or a film. It comes as body language expert and author Darren Stanton suggested Meghan is prepared to step out solo. He told The Mirror, Meghan Markle has always been a very confident woman. During her career as an actress, she had to be confident in order to get to where she got to. I think there were dips in that level of confidence when she first came to the UK, but predominantly believe that she has always remained confident. Don't miss! Prince William appears to comfort upset Princess Kate and cute couple moment, latest, a May celebs Paul Burrell shows off royal treasures in-house tour, celebrity, better for all concerned that Sussexes aren't at ceremony for late Queen, exclusive, meanwhile, another source told people that Meghan and Harry are not to blame over their Spotify deal falling through, saying they were given no formal lay of the land to kick things off. But the Sussex Royals were dubbed deaf grifters by Bill Simmons, Spotify's head of global sports strategy after the deal collapsed. Speaking on the Bill Simmons podcast, he said, I wish I had been involved in the Meghan and Harry leave Spotify negotiation. That's a podcast we should have launched with them. I got to get drunk one night and tell the story of this Zoom I had with Harry to try to help him with a podcast idea. It's one of my best stories, 